Hi friends, maybe you never heard of them but they exist. They look stunning and mysterious at the same time. What are they? Why do they appear in desert? Why are they blue and how they link to us? This is the story behind these beautiful blue ponds in the middle of nowhere. So without further ado, let's get started. For centuries, our ancestors burned wood for heat, cooking, and light, but they also found ways for the ash that left behind. They put the ash in the pot and add some water, filter it, and leave it under the sun for water to evaporate. The remain is a compound known as potash, a magical element that we call it potassium. There are countless ways to use potash, for instance, you can just add some animal fat and you get a liquid soap. Or if you take the potash solution and add some seabed guano, you get a great fertilizer. And interestingly, this compound is one of the core ingredients in fireworks and gunpowders. Potash can also be used in making glass. For years, we used to get potash from burning woods. Unfortunately, it requires a huge amount of lumber to create just a small amount of potash. There was no other solution till mid-1800 when Germany found a different source of potash in a rock. The potash rocks, however, weren't on the surface but deep underground, so potash has to be mined out. Soon after this discovery, other countries like US also found potash mines of their own. However, mining process is difficult, time-consuming, and dangerous. Therefore, a mining company based in Canada came up with an ingenious and safer way to mine potash. What they do was to pump water deep underground. It goes down around 1200 meters before meet potash deposits. Now that the water dissolved the potash, they get forced back up to the surface where the salt water solution is pumped into the ponds. The water then evaporates into the air leaving you with that potash. So as you might guess, these are evaporation ponds to get to the potash and thanks to the hot sun and dry air in desert, the process is faster and more efficient. The color of these ponds changes over time. A full fresh pond is a deep blue and turns into green and eventually white based on the amount of water evaporates. But the potash crystals are white, so why these ponds appear so blue? The answer is tiny crystals called copper sulfide. They dissolve in water to prevent the growth of living organisms plus giving this dark blue color which absorbs more sunlight and that helps the water evaporate faster. There we have it, from basic needs of heat and light to creation of soap, glass, firework, gunpowder and fertilizer that support most of the world's population. Hope you all enjoyed the video and if so, please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for our future release. And see you all in the next video.